heiress, businesswoman, surfer, philanthropist, gospel singer, art collector, reporter, gardener, jazz musician, sexual gadabout, pig farmer, and friend to embezzling dictators. We're talking about the original Million Dollar Baby, Doris Duke, on this week's Random Knowledge. I'm Geeks You Drink, Chief Editor Christopher Short. Every year we write 22,000 quiz questions, 20 words each. Some of those stories deserve more time, so we made a video series. This is Random Knowledge. On his death in 1925, tobacco magnate and university namesake James Duke left his 13-year-old daughter Doris most of his fortune and one bit of advice. Trust no one. The rest of Doris's youth was a whirlwind of world travel and pre-TMZ tabloid coverage. She and frenemy heiress Barbara Hutton were dubbed the Gold Dust Twins by the press. I love the Gold Dust Twins. Desperate to escape the media microscope, she married a diplomat divorcee and built herself a Hawaiian mansion called Shangri-La. Tricked out with Islamic art and Mugai gardens, she designed herself. She also started up affairs with an Olympic swimmer, who tutored her into a champion surfer and General George S. Patton. Every goddamn day. When her whimsy took her back to the mainland, she bounced between her four other homes, including a New Jersey estate where she canoodled with actor Errol Flynn and riled up bougie neighbors with plans for a pig farm. <laughs> Somehow she wound up divorced, and in 1945, Doris flew off to Europe to report on war rebuilding efforts and sit in on piano with a Swiss jazz band. While working in Paris, she met her second husband, Dominican playboy Porfirio Rubirosa, a pro polo player and possible assassin for the Trujillo regime. That second marriage only lasted a year, after which Porfirio married Barbara Hutton also for a year. She's the other gold dust twin. Keep up. As for Doris, she kept her foot on life's gas pedal right through to the end. In her later years, she gave away huge sums to animal hospitals, AIDS research, and performing arts schools. For fun, she took up belly dancing and singing in her local gospel choir. Not at the same time. She also kind of neglected her late dad's advice to trust no one. She let a sketchy butler run her estate and adopted a 35-year-old Hare Krishna shyster who claimed to be the reincarnation of her dead daughter. She even sparked up a friendship with Imelda Marcos, the famously corrupt First Lady of the Philippines, and posted the $5 million bail when Imelda was arraigned on racketeering charges in 1988. I swear, officer, I have no idea where these 1,200 pairs of shoes came from. Doris Duke died in 1993, and assuming her story hasn't inspired you to move to Paris and marry an assassin, that Imelda Marcos fact will net you a free point on our quiz on the date below my face. Visit geekswhodrink.com to find a live pub quiz near you. Also, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. And remember, trust no one.